Kumarin. After discussing the pipal endometrial sampling for endometrial biopsy, now we will talk about the manual vacuum aspiration for collecting endometrial sample. And you can find the video of pipal endometrial sampling by clicking on the i button in the top right corner of this video. What are the parts of MVA kit? The parts of MVA kit include first of all the cannulae, secondly adopter for cannula which are color coded, thirdly the aspirator with the different parts and those parts include first of all cap and cap release tabs pinch wall or wall buttons, wall liner, collar stop, retaining clip, cylinder base, cylinder 60cc, plunger arms, plunger handle, black ring also called o-ring and the clasp. The cannula of MVA are of different sizes in the range of 4mm to 12mm. Cannula number 11 is missing and you can see the color code here. What are the indications of MVA? MVA is performed for uterine evacuation like in case of missed miscarriage, incomplete miscarriage and molar pregnancy. It is also used for endometrial sampling like in case of abnormal uterine bleeding, endometrial hyperplasia, chronic endometrial infarction and monitoring in case of hormone replacement therapy. Next comes the procedure of manual vacuum aspiration. So first of all, I will introduce myself to the couple. I will explain the whole procedure along with its pros and cons. I will take informed consent and provide emotional support and encouragement to the patient. Next comes the analgesia and antibiotics. I will give tablet paracetamol 1 gram or tablet ibuprofen 400 mg about 30 minutes before the procedure. I will give antibiotics like tablet azithromycin 1 gram per oral before the procedure. Next come the preparation of MVA syringe. I will prepare MVA syringe when the uterine contents are likely to be copious. I will make sure I have 3 syringes ready for use. I will assemble the syringe. I will close the pinch wall. Here you can see how to close the pinch wall and on the top, top right corner of this video in the short video you can see how to assemble the syringe. Then I will pull back, pull back on the plunger until the plunger arms lock. You can see the whole procedure here. Even if bleeding is slight, give oxytocin 10 international unit IM or ergometrine before the procedure to make the myometrium firmer and reduce the risk of perforation. I will perform biomanual examination to assess size and position of the uterus and condition of furnaces. I will insert the Cusco speculum into vagina. I will apply the antiseptic solution into vagina and the cervix like povidone iodine antiseptic solution is used commonly i will examine the cervix for tears or protruding products of conception if present i will remove by using ring or sponge forceps i will gently grasp the anterior lip of cervix with volcellum or single tooth tenaculum dilation is needed only is in missed abortion or when product conceptions have remained in the uterus for several days. Next comes the cannula insertion through cervical canal. While gently applying the traction to the cervix, I will insert the cannula through the cervix into uterine cavity. Secondly, by rotating the cannula while gently applying pressure that often helps the tip of the cannula pass through the cervical canal. Thirdly, slowly pass the cannula into the uterus until it touches the fundus, but not more than 10 cm. Measure the depth of the uterus by dots visible on the cannula and then withdraw the cannula slightly. I will attach the prepared MV syringe to cannula by holding the volsalum or tenaculum and the end of the cannula in one hand and the syringe in another hand. 
I will release the pinch roll on the syringe to transfer uh, the vacuum through the cannula to your trine cavity. I will evacuate remaining content by gently rotating the syringe from side to side like from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock position and slowly back and forth within the uterine cavity. Then I will check for the signs of completion. Those include the pink froth cervix hug on canal, a greedy sensation, spasmodic pain. Then I will withdraw the cannula, detach the syringe and place cannula in discontamination solution of 0.5% chlorine. I will perform the bimanual examination to check the size and firmness of the uterus. Next, I will disassemble the MVA and put it in the disinfectant. What are the complications and pitfall of MVA? Those include first of all, infection. Secondly, vaginal bleeding or spotting, cramping pain or discomfort, uterine perforation, uterine spasm. What are the benefits of MVA? First of all, it is safe and effective method. Secondly, it is easy to use. Thirdly, it is cost effective. Then no anesthesia is required. There is a short hospital stay required in this type of procedure. And there are less chances of the hemorrhage and infection with this type of procedure. What about the, about the post-operative care? First of all, observe for complications like bleeding, pain and fever, etc. Secondly, monitor pain and treat accordingly. Thirdly, monitor vital signs. Then, give oral analgesics like acetaminophen and ibuprofen. Next, give full course of antibiotics to prevent infection. And in the end, discharge on instructions for aftercare or follow-up and contraception. So thank you so much. That was all about manual vacuum aspiration. Allah Hafiz.